Today I got a total of three $50 Child's Collectible Mystery Boxes. So I just cracked this box open. I pulled them out before I started the video. I have not peeked inside of any of these three boxes yet. So each one of these boxes will have six Funko Pops. There will be two Funko Pops in Chalice Collectible Soft Pop Protectors. Then there'll be four of them in No Protectors. So you're gonna get four commons and the two in Protectors can be either Chases, Exclusive, Vaulted, some Grails. Very rarely we get a Grail though, but it's possible. But here we go with the first box. So we'll see how well I do. I will go buy value for each box. The commons will just do like a common value about $10. We will actually look up the two pops that are in protectors, kind of see how well I did on each box. But pretty much every box you get guaranteed value, usually over guaranteed. So here we go. First one, first box. This is actually, I think this was actually the January chalice boxes. Oh no, the February, January, February, something like that. Cause I have another box down there of three more of these. So I think this might be the January box, maybe. <laughs> when did it ship out? Yeah, it shipped out January January 6th. So yeah, this will be the January Chalice box. So I've had this box for a few months now. But anyway, here we go. Honestly, it doesn't really matter how long you have this box because you know the contents aren't going to change in that time. Man, these are in here kind of tight. Here you go. First one, common pop. We have Duke Kaboom Toy Story 4. First one. Second one, no pop protector, it'll just be a common pop. We have Frozen 2. Was it Elsa? Frozen 2. Okay. Next one. We have Lion King. Zazu. I'm still the only person left on God's Green Earth who has not seen the Lion King, the original cartoon or the new one. Never seen it. And another Lion King, we've got Simba. These Lion Kings, I've actually got out of mystery boxes several times now. I got quite a few out of Poptopia boxes. So we got the two in soft pop protectors. I don't know which one's gonna be better. I'm just gonna pull out this one first. And we got, the back says Master of the Universe. Oh, that's a good one. Ram Man, this is the Toy Tokyo San Diego Comic-Con 2018 exclusive. This one, I think it's like 60 or 70 bucks, I think. I've got this thing before, Mystery Boxes, like a year, a year ago, two years ago. Been a long, or about a year ago, I'd say. So yeah, that actually does have decent value to it. And the last one, Soft Protector. The back says Bruce Lee. Oh, nice. That was a pretty solid box. Let's actually see value on these two, figure out how much this box is worth. Bruce Lee, this thing has plummeted in value. It's only worth $18 now. That's it. Wow. Ram Man is worth 60 bucks. So this box, if you take these at full value, these four commons at 10 bucks a piece, this box had a value of $118 to it. I paid 50 bucks, so I got over double my value back. This first box was freaking fantastic. We got two more. Box number two. Let's see what we got this time. Once again, four commons, two in soft protectors. Pull the commons first. First one, we have Bax's Game of Thrones. Okay, we just have the common, the... Uh, Night King, whenever he dies in the final season. This is not Glow in the Dark version. The Glow in the Dark version is a HBO Shop exclusive, but it's pretty much not worth anything now. It's pretty much worth about the same price as the Commons worth. They made a lot of them. Next Common, looks like we got Captain Marvel. Common Pop. Okay, next one. Common, we have Arya Stark. Arya. I'm actually hoping that they do a spinoff with uh, Arya Stark. Arya Stark. Um, I'm hoping that they do. They probably won't though, but I hope they do. Next one. What is this? Atomic Blonde. Pop movies? I've never heard of Atomic Blonde. I've 
it says the pop movie. I've never heard that movie. Never have. Here we go. First one and a soft protector. And that's the back side. Show the camera first. And we have, I see Michael Jordan. It is the gold Michael Jordan, which was a Foot Locker exclusive. This is the overseas one, the Hobby Stock exclusive gold one. I think this one kind of plummeted in price also. Of course, when this box came out several months ago, like back in January, it's probably worth quite a bit more back then. But now, I think it's been worth a whole lot. Here we go. The next one, soft protector. My academia. Oh, okay. This one actually went down in price too, quite a bit. They made a bunch of them. More and more keep hitting the market. So let's actually let's see prices on these two. And the four, these four, we'll just go by $10 common prices on these four. First one, the All Might Silver Chrome. It's actually still pulling decent value. It's pulling in 40 bucks still, exclusive to, to the, the Funimation booth at New York Comic Con 2019. So still pulling in 40 bucks. It was pulling in like 50 or 60 when it first came out, but 40 bucks, that's still a fantastic hit right there. And the, oh, bronze, not gold, the bronze Jordan, a Foot Locker exclusive, but this is the overseas hobby stock. As I told you earlier, it plummeted in price. It's worth only $19 now. When this thing first came out, I think it was like 30 bucks, 35 bucks, but yeah, it's down to $19 now. So if you add in these two, these are about $59. If you count these four comments at 10 bucks a piece, we got another $100 box right here. So I got it, I paid 50, I got back $100 in value. So box number two, once again, was a huge win. Box number three, hopefully luck keeps going in this box. Yeah, first two have been crazy value. And here we go, last one, once again, there'll be four commons and two install protectors. We'll pull up the commons first, see what I got. The first one's always a harsh one to get out because they're all kind of tight in there. First one, we got Frozen 2, and we have Young Anna. Actually, I haven't seen Frozen 2 yet. I'll see it eventually. I guarantee it won't be good as the first one, though. The first one just was kind of like it caught the it caught the brass ring, pulled it down, claimed it. You know, it's kind of cool. We got a Hello Kitty. Hello Kitty 8-bit. Okay. Not worth much. And then common one. We have Marvel. Cap Snowman. I, I'm never a fan of, of the, the Funko Pop, the Marvel, or the Star Wars Christmas exclusive. I'm, I've am i never cared much for them. I kind of wish that they'd stop doing it. Because <clears throat> Last common, we have Doctor Who, Reconnaissance Dalek, whatever that is. I've never seen Doctor Who in my life, so I have no idea what Reconnaissance Dalek is. So someday I'm going to watch Doctor Who from the, from the beginning all the way through someday. Here we go. These two are in soft protectors. First one, we got Game of Thrones. Is this the glow? Yep, this is the glow in the dark. Remember the first box, I got the non-glow. This one's the glow in the dark. It's actually HBO Shop exclusive. This one has the overseas sticker on it because they made a bunch of these overseas. And yeah, this pretty much is worth like a common Funko Pop now, pretty much. Last one. There's the back side. You ready? Last pop in a soft protector. And we have... Game of Thrones, ooh. Yeah, this one is pretty much on clearance right now at uh, Barnes & Noble. I think they had them like half off for like five bucks, five, six bucks for that one. So let's see value on this box. I think this one is the worst valued box. The first one, this is worth a whole $20 still. I'm going by the Funko app. That actually might be the New York Comic Con sticker. This is the shared sticker, it's probably worth Probably about 15 bucks, honestly, but we'll just do the full 20 bucks just because. Golden Dark Night King is worth 10 bucks. This is pretty much worth the same price as a common now, like I said earlier. I think they made just as much as these as they did the common Night King. So with these, these four, buy them at 10 bucks a piece. 10 bucks, there's 50, and then about 15 bucks here. So this last box is about $65. So I still got like 15 over what I paid. So if you add in all three boxes, what I got back in value, I say it's about $135 more than what I paid in value. So I paid $150. I got back about, what, $285 total. Got out some pretty decent hits. And uh, once I resell all these, I'll make some decent money on these three boxes. So uh, Chalice does mystery boxes once a month. 
I think they've already done them for this month. I think I could be wrong, but just keep follow them on Instagram. They'll announce when they're going to do the mystery boxes and whenever they put them on sale, buy them quick. They sell out fast. So I'll see you next time. Funko Bad Guy out. Mm -hmm.